received a report of a traffic crash that occurred yesterday afternoon in the after, uh, late afternoon on Payne's Prairie where one of the vehicles ran off the roadway and was submerged in the water. Uh, Florida Highway Patrol responded to work the crash. The Alachua County Sheriff's Office dive team members came out uh, once the vehicle was pulled up and the driver was not found to be inside the vehicle itself. Uh, we spent several hours uh, in the water yesterday attempting to locate the driver. Uh, once it started getting towards dusk, we uh, terminated the recovery efforts. I contacted the Marion County Sheriff's Office. I requested assistance from their dive team. Uh, Lieutenant Joyner contacted me last night and agreed to respond up here today to help us continue the search. And with their assistance, we were able to locate and recover the driver of the vehicle from yesterday's crash. The, the body was located in the general area of the crash site. Um, one of the divers was able to locate the subject after about 20 minutes of searching. Uh, in the water. It's anywhere from 12 to 15 foot. There's a lot of silt on the bottom of the, of the floor. The problem that we run into with the prairie is you look out across the prairie and you think it's dry land, but it's actually, uh, I would liken it to a floating island. We were actually diving under the vegetation. Um, there's three to five foot of vegetation, uh, dirt, mold, silt, what have you with the vegetation growing in it and the driver the driver was located actually below that. The, the biggest, the, what makes this type of diving so dangerous is the, the lack of visibility, the entanglement factor. Um, you, you're basically diving in an overhead environment that you can't see in. You, there's no way to monitor the amount of air you have, how deep you are, or direction, are you swimming north, are you swimming south, you have no earthly idea because you have entanglements or little holes that you you go through while you're underwater uh, and basically sooner or later those holes run out and then you're tendered by a line from the shore and you have to work your way back through these pockets or holes um, using that line and all your dive gear and every just you're simply your whole body's being entangled in this and that's why we have a minimum of at least two safety divers in the event that some, you know, they give the signal, hey, I'm, I'm hung up, I'm entangled, I can't move. Immediately we send two more divers in and uh, clear the entanglement and bring the, the, the diver back to safety. I mean, it was a team effort, it was a coordinated effort between multiple agencies. We had the Alachua County uh, Sheriff's Department dive team here, we had the Marion County um, underwater recovery team here. Uh, we had the Department of uh, DEP, uh, FWC, uh, we, and, and the Department of Transportation was, was helping us control some of the traffic that, you know, for the onlookers.